He is a war veteran, a storyteller, gifted orator, and a legend in the field of journalism. As we close out the month of February, our Black History Moment shines on the lofty accomplishments of one very humble man. Oh, absolutely. This morning, Danielle Wiggins brings us the story of our very own Leon Bibb. Born Leon Douglas Bibb in 1944, the future Broadcasting Hall of Fame member called Cleveland's Glenville neighborhood home. Parkgate Avenue gave his family a view of the cultural gardens and Leon a short walk to Gordon Park, where baseball was his favorite pastime. After graduating from Glenville High School, he earned a bachelor's degree in journalism at Bowling Green State University. It is also where Leon met his beloved Marguerite, but Vietnam interrupted post-graduation plans and separated him from his new bride. Thankfully, he returned safely and with a bronze star for his service. The Bibbs returned to BGSU, where Leon went to graduate school and started his first on-air job at WTOL in Toledo. Soon, WCMH-TV in Columbus made an offer that would eventually make this son of Glenville Ohio's first African-American primetime anchor. Home called in 1979, bringing the Bibbs back to Cleveland, first at WKYC, then Channel 5, before coming home again to WKYC in 2018. Throughout his career, Leon has interviewed presidents, astronauts, civil rights leaders, and even James Earl Ray, convicted assassin of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The list of honors is long and prestigious. In 2021, Leon Bibb marked 50 years in television, a trailblazing career reporting the news, telling stories, and bringing humanity to every topic he covers. He's so great, but you know what his greatest accomplishment is if he tells you it's being Marguerite's husband, father to his two daughters and grandfather to four children. You can find all of our Black History Month in Ohio stories on WKYC.com. And he is just the nicest guy, too. Really is. I mean, when you run into him just walking through the hallways, he's always you know, very pleasant and asks how you're doing and interested in how your day is and truly humble. His desk is right next to mine. Mm -hmm. I was working a late shift a couple of weeks ago and he was in and I was just sitting there and talking to him and it's just crazy because I'm just like, it's Leon Bibb. You know, yeah. you have that, you know, I grew up watching him so many times as a kid and, yeah. and, and he's just listening to that voice and like you said, such a great guy. It's such an honor to know him. Yeah, absolutely.